And in uh, other breaking news that's coming in at this point in time, the CBI has arrested Sanjay Gupta of OPG Securities in the NSC co-location case. This is the third arrest in this case now. This arrest comes after Sanjay Gupta was in fact summoned yesterday, uh, following which he was then arrested. So those are the latest details coming in. Uh, Bhavtosh joining us for more on this. Bhavtosh, uh, what can you tell us about Sanjay Gupta, third arrest in this case? He was one of the first accused to be named in the FIR that was filed uh, way back in 2018. Uh, Sanjay Gupta premises were also searched and uh, raided in May this year. And uh, he was right uh, under the scanner of the CBI for a very long time. Uh, according to CBI, he was a person who was given preferential treatment uh, in the NSC co-location scam. And uh, they had called him for questioning yesterday. And because of the evasive nature of the answers that he had given, he was arrested in the case. Both Chitra as well as Anand Subramaniam in their questioning had also, in fact, admitted that uh, Sanjay Gupta's uh, stockbroking firm had uh, been given that advantage and preferential, uh, preferential treatment. And uh, the CBA also, during the questioning, had found uh, this fact. Uh, SEBI in its uh, uh, audit report uh, in its uh, report had also said that uh, OPG Securities were, were one of the firms who had uh, got the preferential treatment that could have uh, led to arrest of uh, Sanjay Gupta. Now Sanjay Gupta is not the only person who had uh, got this uh, uh, benefit. There are several other security firms who have come in under the scanner of CBI. Remember last month CBI had carried out raids and searches in different parts of the country and at least 10 brokerage firms are now under the scanner of the Central Bureau of Investigation and CBI has in fact said the scope of its investigation have widened. There are several uh, brokerage firms as well as stock brokers who have uh, been called in for questioning by the CBI. Uh, Sanjay Gupta is one of the first persons who have been arrested post these searches and uh, he will be produced before a special court and CBI will be seeking his further refund. All right, uh, Bhavtosh, thank you so much for getting us uh, all of those details of the latest developments in the National Stock Exchange scam that happened between 2015 and 2018.